universe of merger Troy Falls, an alternate universe coexistent with our own, and in which persons in the Prime Universe have a counterpart in this alternate one. And Timothy Lawrenson, the skateboarder, has some exciting news to tell his friends and his mom, the mayor merger Troy Falls, and he is about to call yeah. them both from his cell phone and tell them. Yeah, it's going to be cool, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You definitely yeah, it's going to be cool, me. dude. Dude, oh yeah, no, it's you the White House, man. Come with me. Sit. Hey, hold on, I got dude, another call. Oh, it's guess the White what? House, man. Sit. Hey, hold on. I, got I just got call. a card from the White House. Oh. The First Lady, Judy Quint, and she wants me and a few of my skateboarder friends to come down and visit the White House and put us on tour of it and everything. Yeah, it's so exciting. It's great. <laughs> I get to go to Washington D.C. D.C. I get to go to the White House. <laughs> I'm gonna skate down Pennsylvania Avenue. <laughs> I can't hardly wait. <laughs> I'm gonna write a song about it too. Maybe I could get on uh, Reggie Niedermeyer's fun, uh, funny apron hour or something, you know? <laughs> Alright, mom. Alright, mom. Alright, love you too. Attention shoppers. Under King Pedestrian's new Enhanced Citizens Initiative Act, if you can prove that you have killed more than 20 paper dolls this week, you will receive a bonus of 1,000 shopping credits to use here at the mall. Remember to freeze the paper doll parts that you bring into the mall for proof. Freezing them prevents them from regenerating. The parts that you turn in here at the mall will be immediately destroyed. Enjoy your shopping today here at the Murgatroyd Mall of Greater Murgatroyd and Slack. Murgatroyd Mall Shoppers. Attention Murgatroyd Mall Shoppers. Pick up your free paper doll extermination kit at any store here in the mall. Hurry, so you can collect your shopping rewards when you turn in paper doll body parts. Hurry, hurry.
lost her for good. Oh, I've lost her for good. She walked out on me. She saw you here, Shemiko, and now she's just gone forever. I'll never get a seeky back. I'll never get a seeky back. Don't worry, it's meant to be. It's meant to be. I look at I Ching. I look at I Ching. You, you destined to be with me. You destined to be with me. We need to go see my father. We need to go see father. Yes, we talk to him. He give us blessing. You're supposed to be with me, Uncle Frank. You're supposed to be with me. I am for you. For you. For you. So you are great, Mr. Frank. I am Fudiki Yamoto. This is my daughter, Sumiko. I Ching say, you marry her, it is your destiny. You marry my daughter, you take her hand in marriage. We all go to Japan soon. We must go soon, I Ching. I Ching say we must go soon. She is for you, for you. She is for you. You marry my daughter, Sumiko. I make you and her heir to Paper Doll Factory. Nice to meet you, Mr. Frank. Soon, you'll be my son-in-law. universe where every person from the prime universe has a counterpart, a double so to speak, identical in physical appearance but leading a very different life in a very different, yet strangely similar, world. And the counterpart of Timothy Lawrence and the skateboarder has flown to Washington DC along with friends to visit the first lady, Judy Quint. Yet after his arrival things have not gone as smoothly as he had believed that they would and Timmy has called his grandmother to let her know what is going on. Grandma, I'm so upset. I'm so upset. Well, first of all, first off, I leaned here at the airport uh, with my friends, and we all get to rush through the White House, and then the Secret Service won't let us in to see the First Lady. Then the Secret Service won't let us in to see the First Lady. It's crazy. Grandma, I showed him the personal invitation card that they fir that the first lady sent me and everything. And he just kept telling me over and over again, the first lady no longer accepts visitors or appointments. Uh, during the daytime, you'll have to come back at night. Well, worse than that, Grandma, you know that cross necklace that you gave me for Christmas? They took that away from me and said that the first lady no longer allows religious symbols in the White House. It's crazy!
CZY Weekend Evening News Update with Hugh Mulitson brought to you by Drifty's Hamburgers, Capacrici Enterprises, and the Super Deluxe Grocery This is store. Hugh Mulitson at CRZY News. Helen Skitters, the kidnapped wife of Lieutenant Skitters continues to recover after her week-long ordeal of being held captive by unknown assailants. Because she was blindfolded, she is unsure of the location where she was being held and because she was rendered unconscious when she was returned to Murgatroyd, she is also uncertain as to the amount of time it took to transport her from the location where she was being held. The investigation continues. Meanwhile, Lt. Skillers continues to head up the investigative team into the recent arrival of Mafia figures to Murgatroyd and the subsequent mob activity that has ensued. We will update you as more details become available concerning the investigation. Murgag droid weather today is mild and sunny. Boss got real pissed off about me kidnapping Helen Skitters. I guess I overplayed my hand. I know what to do. I'll take care of the real problem for good. They say if you want to kill a snake, you have to cut off its head. Well, the head, the migratory task force, and the mafia is Lieutenant Skinner's. <laughs> if I kill Lieutenant Skinner's, the boss will be real, real happy. The boss will be real, real happy. And I know what Lieutenant likes to hang out at. When he's off duty, I'll catch him as he leaves that cop bar. Lieutenant Skinner's. You're dead, man. In the year 2048, King Pedestrian has attempted to turn the tide of the war between the paper dolls and humanity by offering rewards for the mass destruction of paper dolls. And out of the woods between Murgatroyd and Flat Town, one particularly successful hunter has emerged and a local reporter has caught up with him at the bookstore in Flat Town and is interviewing him about his hunting skill in paper dolls. This is Jarvis Peters here at the bookstore in Flat Town where all the paper doll hunters are gathering up and they're going to tell us about their hunts. The uh, King Pedestrian, as you know, recently issued rewards at the mall for any body parts of paper dolls that were turned in. And this one here is Jethro Hills, one of the leading hunters of our area. Jethro, tell me how the paper doll hunting is going. Oh, let me tell you. Paper doll hunting's going great. My name is Jethro Hills. I've been going all over Murgatroyd, all over Flat Town, everywhere I can go to get a hold of these paper dolls. I went up into the mountains, into the oceans. I went everywhere. I see you got a full specimen here. This one's not moving. What'd you do, freezer? Well, she's frozen. I didn't have to do much work, though. I went out into a mountain. Boy, these paper dolls are very, very hard to see in the snow. But this dummy... Let the wind blow her hand up and flat, and I saw it. I caught it out the peripheral of my eyeball. So, while I'm out here in the snow with my heavy, hot, warm snow cap, <laughs> I dug down with my this here wing shot. Yeah, Jethro, what kind of weapons are useful against paper dolls? Well, guns are somewhat unaffected. Uh huh. You can chop them up with the bullet and everything, but. It even leaves off a, a little fire that can fuse the pieces back together and stuff. Not very well. I see you've got a big weapon there. Tell, tell us about that weapon there. With a blade. Let me tell you about a blade. You can chop these things up into itty bitty tiny little pieces. And as long as they stay frozen, you've got nothing to worry about. I keep up my backups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many paper dolls do you think you've killed all together? You don't ever burn them, do you? Wow, such a large number to count. I'd say over a hundred thousand. I mean, I've been going everywhere. I've got body parts. And then I feel dumb because the mall was going to give credits to those 
who had all these body parts, and I just kept burning them, and I didn't think nothing of it. I could have been making money off. And then of finally, this. you woke up and realized if you turn in the paper doll body parts, you get credited as the model there. Oh my God! I've got a hand. Yeah, that, that's part of a paper doll hand there. Clearly yeah. A Remember, hand. it'll regenerate and make sure it gets burnt when you turn it in yes. at the mall. A foot. Oh my goodness! Yeah, you you've been going to town. You've been going to town. You cleaned out one part of the county. I heard. Oh, the whole part of the the entire whole part of the county. Well, you got any recommendation to our viewers out there that might want to go out paper doll hunting themselves? What's a few tips that you can give us? Oh my God, look at all them paper doll parts! Few oh tips? my God, yeah, Here's give a us a good one. Give us some tips. Fire and knives, scissors. Just go haywire on them. Don't let them make it any way whatsoever. Uh, keep all tape and glue away from these paper dolls at all times possible. Death Row Hills, thank you for your tips and good luck with your hunting of paper dolls. We appreciate you. King Pedestrian salutes you and you, the USA America salutes you. And now I'm off to go hunt some more dolls. We appreciate you. Death Row. In the year 2048, the paper doll race is suffering heavy casualties from the vicious all-out attacks at the instigation of the evil king pedestrian who is hell-bent on the total annihilation of the paper doll race. And Woody the Woodpile Boy is delivering a speech to the paper doll race to rally them all together. Attention all paper dolls. Attention all paper dolls. This is Woody your commander and leader. As you know King Pedestrian, that insane genocidal madman, has increased the violent extermination attempt against us by offering rewards to all humans who destroy us. For far too long we have waged a largely defensive war, feeling and crouching and hiding and retreating and hoping that we could outlast and overthrow the humans by our sheer numbers our ability to regenerate, and our ability to rapidly reproduce. But now the offensive that he is waging against us demands that we ourselves become much more aggressive and that we launch a counter-offensive in which we must now strike first. From henceforth we must attack first for our own self-preservation. The battle cry must now become destroy all humans. Destroy all humans. Destroy all humans. Have a long day today. Busy oh, day today. Helen, my dear sweet Helen, you look like a million bucks. Of course, you've always looked like a million bucks ever since I met you, ever since we got married. Now that you're all rested and recuperated up, I think we ought to both enjoy a night out on the town. Let's go have a nice, elegant, relaxing dinner, and then we'll go by the bar. You know, we're all my Buddies from the fourth thing out. They're all dying to see you, Helen. We'll go in there, have a few drinks. You can show everybody that you still look like a million dollars. Yeah, they're green with envy because I'm married to you. They all wish you. <laughs> they wish they had a wife that looked like you. All right, Helen. Let's go. You're listening to CRZY Radio. All the hits, all the time, and call in talk radio, too. C R Z wiring.
Hey Lieutenant, I sees you brung the wife with you tonight. Helen you look spectacular as always. Glad to see you again, glad to see you're doing alright. Hey, you guys have a hell of a night, I gotta get home myself. See you tomorrow, Lieutenant. Drink one for me while you're at that. Helen, Helen, nice you're looking great, like dynamite as usual. Lieutenant Skitters, you're one lucky fellow. Here's a toast to the both of yous. May both of yous have a long and happy life. Cheers. I hope you're having a wonderful time. If you'll excuse me for a moment, I've got to step outside the bar and talk to Garavik privately. We've got some police business to discuss. I won't be but a moment. It's just too noisy in here. I'm a little bit too loud. I'll just be standing right outside the bar. I'll be right back, honey. Hey, Lieutenant Skitters. This is for you. Eat lead. Bulletin alert. From CRZY News this is Hugh Millison with breaking news. Lieutenant Skitters, head of investigative task force into organized crime at the Murgatroyd Police Department, was gunned down tonight in front of a bar in downtown Murgatroyd. Witnesses and surveillance cameras caught footage of a blue vehicle and further details about this vehicle will be released as they become available. Lieutenant Skitters is in critical condition undergoing emergency surgery at the Murgatroyd Mercy Hospital. We will update you with further details as they become available. Fumilla Sun, CRZY News.
Imogene Tomek with a CRZY News Update. Surveillance footage of the car at the scene of the shooting of Lt. Skitters has been analyzed in slow motion and it has been determined that the vehicle was a blue Mustang fastback. A bolo or be on the lookout has been issued by Murgatroyd authorities. If anyone has seen or knows the owner or the current location of this vehicle and its owner please contact Murgatroyd Police. Thank you. The city of Murgatroyd in the Prime Universe in late 2017. While the wounded Lieutenant Skitters undergoes emergency surgery after being gunned down by an unknown drive-by assailant. His devoted wife Helen waits patiently in the waiting room outside Echo awaiting word from doctors concerning her husband's condition. Meanwhile, an unexpected visitor is also on the way to the ICU waiting room to console Helen Skitters and await further news about Lt. Skitters. Well hello Mayor Pear and Ski, so good of you to come. I know you knew my husband very well and admired his work. Thank you for being here. He's still in surgery, and I haven't heard oh, any news Helen. yet. Helen, damn it to hell. Helen, this is all my fault. I shouldn't have appointed him to that investigative team toward the mafia. You know, we're no match here in Murgatroyd for the mob. It's my fault he's laying in there. It's my fault he got shot. He's got to make it, Helen. He's got to make it. Goddamn fucking mafia. I'll go after him with everything I've got. No holes barred. Helen, is there a bar around here where I can get a strong drink? I need something strong. I need a stiff drink right now. Ah, Helen, I'll come back here and, and wait with you after I go get a drink. I'll be right back, Helen. you so late. This is Davis down here. You know me. I'm the bartender. My wife comes and you read the cards for her. Well, I hate to tell you this, but uh, your son, the mayor, is passed out here at the bar and you need to come get him before somebody recognizes him and it makes the newspaper and TV. See if you can come get him out of here. I'll uh, keep everybody distracted while you come down here and get him. Thank you, Madam Perensky. Thank you. For your mom to have to come down here at night and get you because you're drunk, passed out at a bar. You're lucky that the bartender here is a friend of mine and called me. They got me in that Mustang shooting Lieutenant Skitters. And you mean they got a film of it? You mean they got a film of it? Yeah, they got a film of it, man. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to take the chop shop or go get another pain. What they sure I got to do something. I got to get rid of it. That's a classic car, man. You've had it forever. Man needs damn surveillance cameras. You can't let them catch you. I know. I know, but I, what, what can I do, though? What can I do? <sighs> Good luck, man. Good luck. All right, thank you.
reality, a parallel universe similar to our own, the vampire Judy Vincini has replaced her counterpart in that reality, the First Lady. She has been the President, Anderson Gwent, who could very well now face the same vampire curse from which Judy suffers. In the meanwhile, the counterpart of Timmy the skateboarder and a small group of friends have traveled to Washington after having recently received an invitation to tour the White House. Yet they have been unable to do so yet because of the new schedule of the imposter who now occupies the position of First Lady, and so they are sleeping in a motel until they can somehow make arrangements to do the tour of the White House. Yes Timmy is not sleeping well, he is having strange dreams. Nightmares actually, perhaps a warning of ominous danger which lies ahead. He tosses and turns fitfully as he dreams these frightening images. Not just an opinion, it's your opinion. Get into opinion, a radio, go go. Get into opinion, a radio, go 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 go. I don't know how much you you know about uh you know legal matters and and all like that, man. I I don't know, Julianne, I just if you know anything about all the legal stuff and all but I got served by some divorce papers this morning from my wife, but see it wasn't really my wife, it was her clone and I'm just wondering legally if the uh, clone to do that. Of course, see, the problem with, with that is the clone thinks she is my <laughs> my ex-wife. You know, they did a good job what little bit I was around her and all. I mean, she looks and sounds and acts just like my ex-wife. And, of course, that can be a good thing and a bad thing, as you know. And it, anyhow, um, I had gone on this online dating service and all, you know, and I met this little old Asian girl and she's out there at the house. Well, you know, I'm not going to name any names, but... Uh, my ex-wife has been gone now for quite a while, and I'm missing her and all. So I've gone to a certain place where you can have a clone made. You know, there's places you can go and do that if you know, you know, where to go. And it, it's not cheap, let me tell you. Now, I had to take and uh, get a, a loan on one of my uh, life insurance policies and all, you know what I mean. Well, anyhow, this, this clone, see, they called me to come pick her up and everything when they got her ready, but I'd gone in Drifties to get a double-double-double for me and the little Asian girl and saw all. So, anyhow, <laughs> I'm driving back to my place, and lo and behold, there goes the, the clone uh, through my front door. 
Well, you know she had a fit when she seen this good-looking you little young Asian girl out there at the house at all, and so she tried to kick both of us out, and then she just decided to leave. So now, now she served me with divorce papers and all and everything like that. So I, I don't know what to do. I mean, you know, it's a, a mess, Juliana. So I just wonder if you had any kind of a legal advice and all about everything. I mean, I reckon if, if the divorce does go through and all, I will marry this little old Asian girl because you know her daddy's a, a big shot. I ain't going to say who. I'm not going to name any names and all like that. And, everything, and they want me to go to Japan and have a big Japanese shindig and all, you know, however that is. I don't even know what a Japanese wedding consists of and all. I guess I'll find out and everything. But anyhow, I just want to put this out there now just to get to see if any of the callers knew anything if you don't. It's my Uncle Frank. Niedermeyer here with the Funny Apron Hour. Our guest tonight. Exclusively here on Reggie Niedermeyer's Funny Apron Hour, we have Jenny Janerson and the Jammies here performing their latest smash hit Lovey, Deve, right here live tonight. And here they come. <laughs> I can't make it without you tonight. I cannot make it without you tonight. I can't make it without you tonight. Come back to me, baby, tonight. Come back to me, baby, tonight. Come back to me, baby, tonight. I cannot make it without you tonight. I can't make it without you tonight. I can't make it without you tonight. Come back to me tonight. I can't make it without you tonight. Come back to me tonight. Come back to me. Surgery at Murgatroyd Mercy Hospital, Lieutenant Skidder's life hangs in the balance after he was hit by multiple gunshots from an unknown assailant. Doctors are working feverishly to keep the lieutenant alive during this critical surgery he is undergoing. Well, I wonder what on earth happened to Mayor Pear and Ski. He took off last night to have a drink at a bar and he never came back. The doctors told me that they are going in a second time, that a second operation is going to be necessary. God I'm worried, God I hope he makes it through this, my mom is having someone bring her up here this morning to stay here with me. All I can do is sit and wait, just sit and wait. Good Lord. We're losing.
losing him. We're losing him. We're losing him. Code blue. Code blue. Code blue. Code blue. Code blue. Gunshot wounds, Lieutenant Skitters has flatlined during the second operation to try to save him. His spirit floats in limbo as doctors frantically try to revive him, and a strange figure he has met before is now reappearing to him in his out-of-body experience, a figure known as the Man in the Hat, a mysterious being. Is there someone even higher up, someone even more powerful, who is pulling Senator Devane strings? He recently arrested, accused assassin Arch Lochner in connection with the assassination of Senator Grant. I'm here to tell you he is a patsy, he is a fall guy, and that forces involving both Senator Devane and someone higher up than him are involved in the assassination of Senator Grant. I'm also here to tell you that your own life is in danger, and you must prepare yourself and look out for this, because the attack could come from any direction at any time. Lay low, be extremely careful. There are those who would like to silence you, because they do not want their conspiracy discovered. That is all I have for you at this time, Lieutenant Skitters. Trust me, my sources are impeccable. In 48, the war between the humans and the paper dolls rages on, but human forces have begun to zero in on a specific target, a target that they have been hunting for quite a of the wooden creature. We have set up a parameter to contain the wooden creature.
of you, are my elite security team, my elite bodyguards. You will allow no threats or danger to ever come close to me. You will sacrifice yourselves to protect me from harm of any kind. You will ruthlessly destroy any who might seek me out in the attempt to render me harm of any kind. There is one such person from very, very far away, a certain Dr. Von Vechten. If you see this man attempting to come within 100 feet of me you will stop him by whatever means become necessary. You will prevent Von Vechten from ever making contact with me, by any means necessary. As I will. So shall be. As I will, yes. so shall be. First Lady Judy Quant, we obey you and we serve you. We will carry out your command. We will protect you. We will allow no harm to come to you. We will not allow Von Vetsen to come within 100 feet of you. Yes, your will, we will obey. Your will, we shall obey. And I want to thank you for having met with me here today and heard what the problem is. I think you now understand this vampirist Judy Vincini has left our reality here and traveled over into this parallel universe where she has infiltrated the White House. She's pretending to be the first lady over there. She's replaced her counterpart. She's even bitten the president over there, President Quint. But most dangerous of all, she's introduced this deadly vampirism into a universe that had never seen vampirism before. She spread her deadly virus over into an innocent universe. So, if you do choose to undertake this mission, Dr. Von Beck, then I, I trust you will eliminate Judy Vincini and save that universe from the dreadful vampirism that once plagued she our own. Down and Thank destroyed her again, while she was still in Europe. Here in our own universe. A vampire virus to thousands of innocent women in this universe. And now she is sought out to introduce her deadly vampirism into their into the rest of the world universe and onto thousands of innocent victims there. Uh yes, yes, Dr. Derrickson. I will gladly travel to the parallel universe. Yes, yes, Dr. Derrickson. I will gladly travel to the parallel universe and track Judy Vincini down and destroy her myself. I destroy her myself.